Hello there, dearest viewers. You join me back, where today I'm going to be taking a look at Bastion. Now, this is a beautiful game with some incredible narration, so I'm going to try and shut up whenever he's narrating, because um, the voice acting is fantastic, and we're going to jump in uh, where we left off. I have no idea where I got to, unfortunately. But we shall find out. It has been quite a long time since so I last played this. Core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. As you can see, awesome, awesome dialogue. Uh, let's. Right, I've got no idea how to play this game. And it's squirt. Uh, come on, give the little tiger a break. It seems to be running a bit choppily, unfortunately. Uh, so this is our weapons shop. Arsenal, we've got the war machete, breaker's bow, the fang repeater, and the kale hammer. So I'm going to keep with that, and I think I've got the breaker's bow as my secondary. Yes, I do. What's my grenade? Hand grenade. Uh, da, 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 da. Require, these all require a black tonic per use. Right. I have no. Uh, ah, we have a mission, stranger. Bronze spyglass. Ask about the bronze spyglass taken from the sundown path. Only the stars remain on the horizon. The mountains are gone. We're never closer to the stars now, are we? We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them. No matter how high we build. Ooh. We've got uh, something new in the forge, apparently. So, let's see if we can get the upgrade for the breaker's bow. So, I think I have those two. So the basically the the upgrade progression works that like you choose one of the two of these, uh, and you can go. So I've got twenty five percent draw speed and fifty for damage. That'll do plus two target penetration and arrows cause damage over time. And the next, oh, I need I need something else apparently for that. Okay. Um, <laughs> distillery. So this is where you go on to some of the missions. I'm not sure exactly which mission I should be doing right now. So I, I assume as I fell down here, this is probably the way. No? We're going to go on to the Skyway. Okay, we'll go on to the Skyway. Dun, 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 dun. Really great music in this as well. Really great. Okay, so that's if we want to get an upgrade for... I don't even know. What's that? Core detector. Okay, so we've got to. You basically, you go. You go. You got to collect collect these cores, and that's how you slowly rebuild your hometown or the bastion. So that's that's the bastion. That's your home base. So let's go here. Is this a core detected? No. Let's go here because I want to get an upgrade. <laughs> Windbag Ranch was built for gathering squirt extract and copious supply. Ain't nothing more healthful. War machete. Defeat all foes quickly. Okay. Let's do that. So I've got my machete here. Sorry, I, I'm limited on what I can actually use here, Some apparently. showed up to make a fast buck. So we've got to destroy these. And we've got to kill all the squirts. Like that. Other folks can't Come on, take him out, take him out, take him out. Hold the attack button to do a throw. And throw! Explode. I can heal using F, so I'm going to do that. I don't have many health potions, I should probably be saving them. Nice, there we go. There we go. 
So I think I just had to. T oh! Gets awful slick Balls. Right, let's use another health potion. Not ideal. And I have to take out another 26 of them. And they just. Usually they don't run away, they bloody come after you. It's making this challenge quite difficult. Oh my god. Oh fuck me, come on. Ready? Oh fuck this shit. Come on. Still others use the place to test their finest blades. Kill the square, come on. How are these not fucking landing? The the isometric perspective does get a little bit confusing sometimes. I'm still gonna kill another fucking fifteen of them. Which is apparently impossible to do as I can't actually throw my sword. Uh in any there we go. No, you're just not gonna I get the feeling this isn't gonna happen. Kill another seven. Come on, you little shitbags. Oh, fucking hell. Come on. Oh, fuck you. There's one, five. Uh, there is no way in hell that I got... Uh, So you can get power shots if you charge it up. Oh fuck you! There we go. So I unlocked the upgrade, which is nice. So let's see what I got. Uh, an upgrade material for the war machete. A, a batch of Zulwood leaves, best not hand, best not handled barehanded. The world's sharpest blades are treated with that oil. Okay, cool. But I didn't get any of the other things. So I have to do it in under 90 seconds. Should we give it another try? I think we should. Let's, let's give it another try. Can I can I do that from here or have I got to go all the way back? Oh, it looks like I have to go all the way back, which is really annoying. But we can get the upgrade, so. Kid comes back from Windbag Ranch, smelling good and right. Mm, nice. Uh, you can toggle zoom. Nice. Uh, so let's go into the armory. Arsenal, even. Oh no, that's just selecting which one. I did want to go into the armory. I was right the first time at Forge. There we go. So now I can get. So I've got attack cripples foes, deals damage over time. Uh, that's 20% crit, 100% crit. Uh, or one plus one blades per throw, so you can throw extra blades, I guess. Hmm, which one should we do? I'm gonna go with that one because you got to keep a good grip on them. Because a lot of the time, what you'll find is there are a lot of enemies and you get overwhelmed so if I can put down let's try and get this core shall we let's try and do that I do apologize this hasn't been an episode for quite a while I've been very busy with work and whatnot but we're back Ooh. the dead welcome him with open arms ominous so that's how I use my bow the calamity took everybody after all Oh yeah, and the world sort of forms around you as you walk down it, which is quite nice. And most things are sort of destructible. Which is nice, because it doesn't look like they are. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. So I now have two ranged attacks, which is nice. Get all the loot. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but 
but someone did. Someone close. Someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. I assume that's who we keep seeing statues of. And he will comment on what you're doing, so if you if you just sort of stand still and just just trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. Oh, we got a free health out of that. Which is always nice. And we've got a black tonic. Dodging is quite important in this, but when you're charging up, you can't actually uh, do that. I can't remember how to use my grenades. Let's get that health. We might as well. The Thunder Brothers didn't make it. They never saw what it was like beyond the walls. No, you don't. Nor did the Bird Boy. And there's often bits where the path just sort of splits off, which is... You have to sort of decide which way you want to go. So a lot of people died in the Calamity. Oh, I want that. That I want. Oh, how the fuck do I get to that, though? Ah, uh, like this. Kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. So what was that? Ura Sigil. A memento, an insignia borne by people of Ura heritage. The Tarzal Spade was a rare sight in Caledonia before the Calamity, as very few Ura lived in the city. Now there are fewer still. Ooh. Deep. <laughs> Just think. Without that oh, man, give me a lot of health and stuff. Right it's only a giant squirt. The core survives as well. Run, run, heal. There we go. And that's the core. Kid does what he has to do. Destroy the core. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid has the clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. Ooh, heavy. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. Ceylandia, my bad. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. Hey, a streak to Zulf. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. That wasn't For Zulf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home, too. Far to the east. Hmm, so I just... Quizzing him about all the stuff we've picked up. Skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. We fought the Ura decades ago, but that was then. Things are different between us now. Okay, so there's a bit of background story for you there. 
Uh, yeah, so once you picked up a core, you have to take it to the monument in the center and you place it, and then that builds you a new section. They remember, that's why this place is coming together. That's why things are going to be all right. Ah, so I should have some new buildings available to me at some point. Ah, here we go. So this is... Well, look what we have here. So, plans for structure that chronicles past and future efforts. Just play uh, a necessary testament of calamity. Uh, restores a variety of valuables. Yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? Let's do that. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. Mm, okay. So I can get extra skills and stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, lightning flask flurry. Some material. I'm not sure what that's used for. Ah, oh, that's for the fang repeaters. It's, it just says for a certain weapon. Oh, I see. So if you haven't got these things, you can uh, stab synth. Automatically retaliate when injured. That's quite good. Lunkhead liqueur. Hmm. So what do I need to... Let's go find out what I need to upgrade the fang repeater. I need something stringy. Okay, let's get something stringy then. Let's buy one of those and upgrade the fang repeater. So we do have quite a lot of cash on us at the moment. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. Cool. Ah, uh, now I can't quite afford these. So plus 25 or. I don't know if you can unlock the last one, even like on the other side. I'm not sure if you can do that. It might I mean I have to go with that one. We'll, we'll find out once I've. Uh, let's let's play through one more world. We track down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. Right, so there's one for the fang repeater over there. Oh, there's another core over here. Let's play for another core. Mm -mm -mm. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. Such a pretty game. Oh, I didn't fall flat on my face this time, which is it nice. It says a little prayer anyway. Couldn't hurt, right? Folks used to make pilgrimage here. Oh God! Pay their respects to Pith, a bowl. Well, the gods are long gone now, and the Orchard Core is long gone too. Oh, it's a giant yeah, mech ball. Can I attack him? No. Is there something secret over here? It would appear so. The gods hey. don't care about trinkets, but the kid ain't no god. Hmm. Okay. It stood for something once. Something real. But not anymore. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. I wonder why I tread on all of their tomatoes. Wahaha, I'm so reckless. But there's something over here as well. Yeah. Ah, there's that something. What was it? Something coarse. Yeah. So firing ammunition, maybe for the fang repeater. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, that bit trails off. Decent scarecrow, at least. Uh oh. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh good god, man. Ain't easy punching through his hide. 
Kid breaks him to bits. Must Wait. be guarding that shrine. Well, tough shit. I'm going in the shrine. So what'll it be? Invoke the Ooh. gods. Or tell him off. God of commotion or the foe shall grow quicker and move to strike. You don't get any bonus for that. So that just sounds like a negative thing. Why would I? I don't get any bonus for that. Piv. Why would I do that? Oh, okay. So I get 10% more XP and 10%. Hmm. Is that really worth it? Hmm. I'll try it out, but if it's too difficult, I'll. Uh... Gods are alive. They must be plenty sore. Well, now I've got to go and fight my way back. Of course, I have. Kid ain't never seen windbags that quick. Maybe old Piff put a scare in him. I really do like the sort of uh, dynamic environments. It's a really cool little feature. Squats. I ain't got time for this shit. Ain't nobody got time for this. Oh, well, they're just gonna. Oh, they're gonna keep spawning until I take that out. There you go. I'm not sure how to use my hand grenades actually. Oh, it's middle mass. There we go. Okay, good to know. Let's heal quick. Unnecessary damage taken there. Oh, guess what? We're gonna have to fight this one as well. Yeah. Ow! Damn, that does a lot of damage. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Ooh, okay. Right, well, I am going to leave it there. The Ura feared the gods. We or turned will. them into toys. After this. Put their faces on our walls. Hmm. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. <laughs> If you want to see more of my Steam Library playthrough, click that subscribe button, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.